Hi guys, it's Laura from Man Mimi's Crochet and Farming and Persifners, Persephone. She's such a crazy cat. Um, so yes, we're here to open up some happy mail. And a happy mail is not for me, but for members of the community that I live in. And I will be taking the stuff that's in here and some of the hats that I have made, um, and they will go to the bread line. Um, I think I am waiting for one more package. I'm not sure when she said she was going to get it in the mail. I will ask her, um, and possibly I will wait, um, for that package, or I will take that package in addition to these, to the ones that I have, plus the ones that were sent, um, and here they are right here. So the ones that were sent were sent by Barbara Leinhard or Leinhard. Leinhard. I can, I feel terrible, but it's like a lean on a house. But so I'm going with Leinhard. Leinhard? Probably not right. I don't know. I am very dehydrated today and I know drinking soda is not what I should be drinking, but, um, I, I did not bring any water out here with me. So, um, let us open. Ouch. Oh, the worst thing is I can bleed on everything. So, um, these came from Florida. Oh, oh she is driving me nuts. Uh, Persephone does not like the curtains I made. And, um... There's only one window that does not have a curtain. And she looks out of that window almost all day. She doesn't care. She wants all the other windows to be, um, to not have curtains either. But, sorry to say, Persniffs, um, we don't want everybody to know what goes on in here in the Mimi's Madhouse. You know, it's it's fun. Man, I can see I opened this the wrong way. But I didn't want to show any addresses. And I still am missing lots of feelings in my fingers. So, um, there's that one. Okay, so there we go. Um, I do not know when my next surgery is scheduled for. I guess when the pain gets to be more than I can handle. So, I am opening it from the bottom up. And, um, so you know that your, your neck is bad when you can't close a knife. So... I pretty much shouldn't have any responsibility opening one if I can't close it. So, uh-oh. <laughs> oh, no. I'm just messing with you, Barbara. Uh-oh. Okay, so there are quite a bit of hats in here. And I am loving this. So let me get... Okay, so let me get my hats that are going. Barbara has been a lot more busy than I have. You guys might recognize this one. This one was a bod hat. This is the bod hat that we just did. Um, these three came from Dory. From Dory Did It. Okay, so let's see the hats. I don't know. Which ones am I going to keep? No, I'm just teasing. Ooh, look at this one, purple and white. Hey, did you use this one for um, Set Us Challenge? Beautiful purple. That would work. Ooh, look at this pretty one. There we go. I like, like the colors in that, except for the green. But all the other ones are good. 
Ooh, look, here's another purple set of hat. I hope you used all of these purple ones for Seta's challenge. Oh, look, here's a, I can't ever remember the name of this hat, but here's a purple one. Um, Rose from Rose Likes Crochet does the divine hat. There we go. She always makes these. I've only made like two or three of them. Ooh, here's another one in that same yarn. That's a pretty yarn. Nice and soft. Oh, and look, there's another purple one. There we go. Ooh, I like the way you did that brim on that. That's nice. So that's three rounds. All righty, cool. Okay, so I'm gonna put this up here. I don't have all of mine in this box. I don't know where the other ones are went. Well, I can tell you Persephone had something to do with them. Ooh, pretty. Even with the green, it's pretty. <laughs> Oops, another purple one. Somebody likes purple. Aside from Seta. There we go. There's another one. Yeah, you know, even with that green, the green kind of goes with it. I, of course, wouldn't wear it, but... Ooh, look at this one. This one's nice. Ooh, could I almost steal this one? It's the Divine Hat, and it has trim on it. Ooh, no, I'm not stealing it. Trust me, I am not. But that is cool. I do have some... Uh huh. What yarn did you use for this one? Is it five weight or six weight? I have some Red Heart six weight that kind of looks like this. And I have some of this too. I like this one. I might have to make it. All righty. <laughs> I'm going to save the best for last. The note for last. And then something else for last. Look at this beautiful orange and the pinks. This one is gorgeous. I love it. Love, love, love it. Oh, there we go. There's another pretty one. Even with the green. Oh, look, here we go. Some more of that orange and pink. Beautiful. And more of the orange and the pink and the white. Beautiful. Okay, so now you'll see why I'm gonna I'm laughing. But let me get. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, um, Barbara, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you, Barbara. I got an uh, yeah, Okay, so I'm going to open this. It, it says, sending some smiles your way. There you go. Um, <laughs> all righty so she has enclosed these for the cancer center and for the bread line so that is great um and uh she's they're doing more traveling this year and um so she said the hats are easy to take around and while she's making them now i'm gonna get you barbara <laughs> She sent me, she sent me something that, um, and now I'm going to have to work double hard. She said she got three hats out of one skein. So, here we go. I have never, so this is really cool. I have never used Super Saver Color Block. 
just have never, I don't even think I've even seen it here. So maybe that's why I've never used it. It's not that I don't use Super Saver because I do use Super Saver. Um, I, I just don't think I've ever seen Color Block. So it says, um, and a skein for you. This is fun yarn. I've made scarves with it and the blocks look great. But I've also made hats and got three, ha three hats out of one skein. So this is going to be a one skein wonder. And I'm going to see how many hats I can get out of this. Um, so yeah, Barbara got three. I'm going to see if I can get more than that. Um, maybe make a couple of baby hats. Um, but we're more in need of adult hats. So I will focus on adult hats. And if need be, um, I will do a baby hat just to make sure I use all of the yarn that I can. So um, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Barbara. Um, I know my community will truly um, thank you for it. We have been in the below zeros pretty much um, since uh, January or actually December. Um, we will get up to above zero for about five to ten minutes. Um, maybe for, seriously, maybe for like part of the day, but then we do dip down back to below zero. Um, we've not had the 38 belows that we have, but, um, the 20 belows are just as hard as the 30 belows are for the homeless in our community. So, um, your thanks is, um, your, your generous donation will be helping to keep, um, some people's heads warm. Um, I might even think about making a hat and scarf set with this uh, just to help keep somebody's neck warm, too. Or maybe see about getting two scarves out of this. I am not 100% sure. But it will be a one skein wonder for sure. So thank you. Thank you again um, so very much, Barbara. I love you. And I love all you do for my community. Um and I'm sure for the, the stuff that you do for your community. Thank you again. Um, I love you. Thank you, everybody, for watching. You guys have a great day. And I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.